sickness, sickness and fatigue. How about you? You cut that out right now because I'm not trying to get sick, my man. Oh, I'm sure it's too late. What happened earlier? Oh, Lord. All right, well, <coughs> okay, well, with that in mind, let's go ahead and talk about these couple of teams that we're going to be seeing here in the lower bracket finals. It's going to be Luminosity and 3-Sup, obviously. 3-Sup just making their way downtown, walking fast, and getting past the uh, Games Academy here earlier. And we saw them do it in a pretty astonishing fashion, losing the first map very close, 16-14, and then just coming back and molly walloping them in the face oh, and taking them too? down. Oh, my God, both maps. I mean, I don't think like the volume levels are ever going to get that close between those two teams. Maybe, maybe a three side. They were hooting and hollering and screaming and yelling, man. We could hear them all the way on this side. The the players are actually in another room and another side of the building, all the way on the other side through a couple of walls, and we can't even hear them from there. But it, actually, it looks like we're getting live into the pistol round here, so we're going to have to hold those thoughts. The map rotation that we're going to be seeing here is starting on train. Then to Overpass, and then Inferno if we need it. Now, I'm really excited for Train because Luminosity, what was it, 16-1 against CLG? Yeah. And then 3-Sup, I think it was like 16-4 or 16-5, something ridiculous against Games Academy. So both of these teams are ready and rearing to go on this map on Train. Yeah, and the, the mistake that CLG made, I mean, they picked Train, which is obviously going to give LG the CT side, and they just ran away with things. Starting with the pistol, this is going to be Fur on to Davey. Uh, but it is all a fake towards outer as they're bringing the bomb into inner. That's going to be Kiko to get it down. They do have a smoke as well as a kit. And versus uh, three sup, it was uh, kind of sick ninja defuse to start things off. But here we go. Three sup are battling back as they get the opening frag on the retake from LG, falling apart here and off to a much better start now. Is three sup. I'm surprised we couldn't hear them through the wall there cheering after right. that. They might not have much voice left. I know we don't. But there you go. Three sub actually going to go ahead and take that pistol round. I like what they did. Obviously, they sent one out to do a little bit of a distraction and pull that rotation, and they only had the backside of that inside bomb site to try to hold on to that. And unfortunately for him, he gets overwhelmed in the long run. That bomb gets planted, and they actually had lane control. That's one of the big things that a lot of professional uh, CS players will tell you about. Once you get that inside bomb site, you can't turtle up in the back and wait for them to come to you. Push yeah. forward, get the bomb plant, put it train yard and make them check every angle coming in crossfire is so important you get multiple angles on the z hallway and everything like that and all of a sudden they've got no avenue of attack on the way into the bomb site yeah and your only other option at that point is you just fall back and try to hold the upper and lower halls but smokes can ruin your day in that sense and when i was casting clg versus lg i mean they started off with a sick ninja diffuse but this time it's not going to happen for lg so pistol round for three sub as they do begin the outside take as they're planting the bomb in front of the train. Problem with the situation is post plant. They do get it down. Now they're going to be trying to push into the back end of the trains. <laughs> it's two frags now for three sup and LG on their force buy. Really struggling, but Fur does hit a shot onto Abe. And it looks like they are both going to fall there. Another, another round for three sup and the force buy fail. I don't know if you saw that, Arya, just spamming that MP7 through the smoke and catches falling all the way across on the backside of the train yard. He had a scout, too, and tried to make something happen. Obviously, Fur with a nice headshot down the down the one lane there, but unfortunately for them, it's too little too late. They only lost two rifles on that last round, and I believe they were able to pick up one of the AKs as well. So not a bad start here for 3-SUP as they are up 2-0, to zero, and they look to extend their lead in another anti-eco round on the LG side, but... The aggression is coming out. Abe should be able to spot this, and he's going to make short work of cold. Getting very aggressive over there by Hell. Yeah, they're trying to push up here, but they are getting shut down by 3-sup. And the problem with this for the CT is since they did go for the force buy, Fallen will be able to get an op up, but just barely. It's going to be a glass cannon for him. And it's going to be problematic for LG if they don't get any more frags on their ecos here. So 3-sup surviving with 5 yet again. And this is going to make it so they can lose this next round and still be able to buy. Oh, yeah. Arya immediately going for the AWP. And like you said, it's going to be a glass cannon off for Fallen. Uh, see where they decide to go. Now, this could be one of those situations where we see Fallen and Cold picking up the AWP on the CT side. Put Cold inside with the odd to try to hold it off solo and have four players on the outside train yard or vice versa. Put Fallen inside and have Cold play there. Um, Cold actually going up into heaven right now. And uh, peeking out, looking for one or two players that are trying to make their way out. J Jason R and Arya are both working their way out. Fallen going to get a trade of frags here as Fallen oh. takes down one. Oh, Arya, Arya. he's going to be able to spot the shoulder of Cold and gets the second. So the man advantage going to go the way of 3-sup uh, to start this round out. And Arya, if he can have a match like he did on Dust2 with that AWP, 
versus the previous Brazilians. We may see LG in trouble as 3-sub are going to reroute towards Inner here. Only one member of LG here to contest. That's going to be Steel, and he's playing way far back in the site. So going to be a bomb plant, and since Steel is back here, it's going to be hard for 3-sub to push back into this train yard. And all three of the CTs, similar positions as they are slowly making their way up towards the bomb site. They do get the frag onto Abe. Lots of time expired already, though, but it's going to be LG. Just one more member left to deal with. It's going to be Arya on the flank. He's spotted out by Fur. He's going to stick the bomb. Can Arya get there in time? Oh, Steel. Going to post up and help his teammate. First round for LG, but a bomb plant for 3-sup can still buy. Yeah, and uh, nothing... 3-sup really didn't do anything terribly wrong in that round. Again, like you said, because Steel was in the backside of that trainer, they couldn't really push up the lanes like we had talked about, so they decided to fall back. Arya was just a little bit late on that lurk and that rotation coming around on the flank. He wasn't there to support his uh, couple of teammates there, so really that kind of falls to Arya to be a little bit quicker on that because they should have been able to call that there was two of them pushing up immediately at the beginning of that uh, retake situation. And now you can see they're actually trying to get very aggressive on the outside train yard very early in this while the bomb kind of lurks its way towards inside again. So it's it's all kind of a ruse here, and they're going to be able to spot out Fallen, who does have the AWP once again. He's going to go for the peak here. Uh, a nice awareness there from Jason R. And he almost gets a second onto Bolts, too. And Aria with the op outside. He's going to find one to start things off. And he's going to get a clear avenue back into the ladder room. And they're going to be able to take this bomb site for free again. Yeah, it's a similar situation, though, as Steel will be in the back once again. So three sup left to just fall back into upper and lower and try to hold from there. No smokes this time for so LG like on the retake. It's the same situation again. Right? It's just deja vu here. <laughs> as Davey on to Steel. Two more members of LG, and this is a highly important round. LG need to start establishing momentum on, the C uh, on their CT side. Otherwise, three sup. Is going to start, probably get to the 5-1 to one score line here. Are they going to save? Yeah, it looks like they're going to pull out of the bomb site here and hang on to their rifles for the next round. And that's not too terrible of an idea, but Cold getting mm. his toes spotted there by Abe, and Abe very cautiously pushing up. And this is a really scary position for Cold. He's going to be able to have the advantage here on Abe coming around the corner, but Abe wins the fight anyway, and they lose that rifle. Davey salvaging the up for Arya this round. And like you said, that's going to reset the money on the CT side, and they're going to be looking at a 5-1 to one score line. So 3-sub coming out swinging big time on train. Right. I'm very uh, impressed with the way that they've looked on it tonight. Yeah, this is looking really good for 3-sub. I mean, taking out both Brazilian squads, I mean, that's, that'd be something to say for them. And the CTs here might even be looking at a double save. It's fallen. Going all the way down to 400. So they're going to try to play around this AWP. They're pushing him up long here. But all 3-sub members are just going into the halls. So Fallen's up, kind of useless in this position, and he's not going to be outside for the initial take. So 3-sup is going to have a bunch of time to get into this bomb site without Fallen being uh, a, a threat. And the, the big part about that, well, A, Fallen just got knocked down to half health, and Abe is going to be able to clean up too. So Abe coming out swinging here. Ari is going to be able to find one. Finally, uh, Fallen's AWP goes to work. And uh, though he didn't spot anything down Ivy when he pushed out that direction, he was able to gather a handful of information just calling, hey, you know, nobody's over in this area, so they're probably either going inside or they're already on the train yard. And obviously they were already on the train yard, so there was really nothing that they could do to reestablish re much in that oh area, no. but Fallen goes down, and they lose the AWP. So unfortunately for them... On the LG side, they're not going to really be able to save that op, and it's going to be a double eco situation for them. So they're looking at a 6-1 to one score line and 3's up. They've already basically done all they need to do on the terrorist side. I mean, five rounds, that's a pretty solid half. Six rounds is exceptional. Anything beyond that is gravy. Exactly. I mean, five rounds, more than enough for 3's up. There's L LG. I mean, their CT side, it's, it's looking like a different squad here. So much momentum for 3's up. Having a much better half than CLG. But we do have some aggression from the Brazilians here at Inner. Peeking two members up top. Steel just waiting to use his 5-7. He is going to spam one, but the flank is underway. As the fifth player here, that's going to be Fur. I think they heard him. Look at Abe. Oh, no. This is not good for the CTs here. If they're oh, oh, he gets it anyways. Oh, oh, oh. Fur. Good oh my God. And Kiko and Arya, the last two members here. And it's still... It's, they have them outgunned, but now Kiko on to Bolts. Still Arya looking to get that bomb down. Oh, blast his teammate in the back of the head. Falling down to no HP. And now it's time for the mind games. Plenty of time for Arya to juke about. And he does have the AWP now, but Fallen, he's looking like he's a little bit savvy to this, and he does pick up an AK off of the corpse of his dead teammate. That Molotov. Oh, no! He oh, missed the name! No! Oh, 
<laughs> or fallen. Oh, man, that nade would have probably done it, too. Unfortunately for him, it's going to give Arya a little bit of time to work his way around this train yard and maybe try to relocate himself. But he walks right into Fallen anyway. And Fallen is going to be able to steal this one away. He doesn't have a kit, but he's got plenty of time. Picks up the AWP. Still looking for the bomb. Showing us his KZ movement there as he goes across the train yard. And there you go. Second round on the board, and it comes on an unlikely eco-round victory. That shot from Fur, though. Diggity. Oh, that was just gravy, as you had put it earlier. Two rounds now for LG, and when you get your uh, first gun round or first win in a while on an eco round, well, that just does great things for your economy here. As you can see, with a big buy, fallen with uh, about 4K. So now this is LG's economy to put a stop to this three sub madness here. As this round would crush three subs economy. Let's check out where Fallen is heading with this AWP. It is towards the Z area. Three sub sending some members out middle. Fallen misses his first shot. And now they're going to be pressing up into the old hell area for up top. No, Arya gets the kill. Where's Fallen at? He smoked out in the bomb site. Three sub now closing the distance in the hell area. But Cold does reply onto Arya. And now three sub making their way into the site. Fallen goes down. It's trades galore here as three sub still trying to make their way in. But Cold, he's having himself a hell of a round. He's got four now. Leaving Jason R over here by old hell. He's got bolts around the corner. He's going to be able to at least relay some information as he does, goes down to the headshot of Jason R. But Cold having himself one hell of a round right here. Now they're turtled up. He's got to come to them to get the bomb. And you can see, obviously, Steel and Cold both holding onto that area. Yeah, they're just going to let Jason make the first move. Hopefully he gives them some sort of sound cue. But now they're Steel's thinking about relinquishing the position and falling away from his teammate. As Jason still has to collect that bomb. Creeping his way up from the ivy. Now getting near the bomb site. Cold, super low, but steel available for the trade. The moment Jason engages onto cold, but running out of time now. But 20 seconds left on the clock. Is Jason going to peek into Z? He's cold just right around the corner. He's going to drop cold. He's going to peek into steel. This would be a huge win, but he can't get it. And LG now can finally start establishing some CT momentum. So again, we're going to see, uh, well, the rebuy come out. Fallen already going for the AWP. Rifles being purchased up. But with that one victory there, or pardon me, two victories in a row, that resets the money on the terrorist side. So now is the time for LG to string rounds together to build their economy. Uh, Mag7 for Furgot. He's going to get very aggressive here onto the T-Connector. Flashbang comes out. He knows that one is close, and that's going to be, uh, well, it was Arya. But now look at this, the push coming down through Ivy. All four of the remaining terrorists are going around that direction. They're all going towards the CT spawn. Molotov comes out, the Mag-7 raining out some shots. And there you go, Davey's going to be able to find one. Fallen chimes in, and now they're going to know that Fur is over there. Death Camp should have shown him. But Fur's going to be coming around the corner. He's looking for some more Mag-7. He's looking for some more swag and some booty. He's going to be able to get one more, but we're down to a 2v2 now, and this is a really dangerous situation. As you can see, actually, Fallen was able to spot Abe. And now we've only got one player left alive. That's going to be Davey. He does have body armor with that M4 to boot. And he's going to be over there by the Ivy Hallway. And not a whole lot that he can find in that area. You can see, obviously, Steel going for the long flank. Fallen playing in T-Con. Uh oh. Oh, boy. That is not well. good for LG now because Fallen has this AWP. Hopefully. And Davey has bomb. Yeah, and he's heading his way towards the inner Fallen. Hopefully, he can find some other gun to try to engage onto Davey with. He's hoping that Davey is going to come back towards Outer, but this is not the case in Fallen. Very far away from Davey. All the time in the world for Davey to set up. Yeah, and looks like he's going to be favoring going up into the uh, terrorist side hell in the Brown Halls. And we'll see what Fallen decides to do. Davey is down to 64, but the pistol, he's going to have to hit some nasty shots for that one. Just not exactly sure what he wants to do here. Has Fallen working his way in. Going to press on forward. Smokes out the bomb site. Going to play a little bait and switch. Oh, he misses oh. the shot, and that's the round. That's going to be it right there, unless that nade kills him. He's going to go for the ninja. Davey. Davey clutches it. Too wise for it, and I love that idea. What Fallen attempted there, throwing the smoke on the bomb. Davey knows he's probably going to go ahead and hop on it right away, but instead, Fallen goes for the upper pick, and he read the situation beautifully, but unfortunately for him, whiffed that op shot. And these teams are just echoing each other. Uh, they did the same thing again. Well, they're going for the buy here on the CT side. They're very low on money. But it, at this point, they need to win rounds. Yeah, they're, they're betting the half right here uh, with this buy. I mean, if they lose it, their money just shot. Probably looking at a double save. So three sub could easily claim the half if they do just win this round. Coming out middle, three sub. First guy to deal with is Fur. He's so low. Jason R brings him down. 
And now LG, they still got a guy in the bomb site, but he only has a P250 being pulled. And now Bolts with the CZ. Oh, there goes Arya. These pistols doing some work for LG. Cold could cause some serious damage here. He's going to swing on Abe. Ah, oh, but he peeks into two. Jason R is going to be able to find Steel, and he was already lighting up Steel, and he comes around and gets cold as well. So, falling over here by the CT connector, not really going to be able to find anything over in that area just yet. They haven't planted the bomb. It's working its way around to the back side of the train site, which is interesting. If he decides to go for the peak, Abe is right there. Not able to find anything over in that area. Now the flashes come out. Now Abe works his way into the site. Oh, he might be able to spot him. Just out of the side. Oh, man, that sucks. CS go, baby. CS go. Oh, that's so bad. He, he wouldn't falling. have been able to hit him anyway because of the plant hitboxes. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it don't matter how stationary you are. Similar to Dude. jumping up. These hitboxes. Just a strange game we, we play. And 3-sup with that victory is going to take at least eight rounds. Save an eco round win from LG. And while we are on an eco round, I just want to talk about some of the odds of the eSport gaming we had. About 75 to 25, or 1.2 to uh, 3.6, if you know how uh, the standard betting odds work, which is basically 3 to 1 odds. Now, in the previous map, or in the previous time these guys played, it was uh, 11 rounds from 3-sup and 13 rounds from 3-sup on Cash and Cobble. So, I mean, they definitely have a chance here in starting off very powerful on Train. So on the eco round here is LG, and you see how patient 3-sup is playing, but Fallen pushed up. He gets oh, both of them. Hello. Oh, my God. Fallen, he's looking for some revenge. Nasty. Two back-to-back -back P250 headshots laying them out in T-Connector. Wow. Definitely didn't see that one coming. That was a beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, and, definitely. Uh, I absolutely love that. That was fan-freaking-tastic. Now, if only they can close the round. It'd be great for LG here. Has fallen looking to put that AK to work. And those two kills, just super important. And getting them by himself as he had no assistance at middle from his squad. He actually spotted up. a couple more here, too. Yeah, they're going to be getting to come for out middle. Oh, he dinks one. Jason R is able to find one frag, but first, still aggressive there. Davey is going to be able to take the kill. And fallen, he's trying to control the recoil. He's got no armor. He goes down to Arya, so somehow 3-sub is going to be able to Salvage this one out. Coming around, trying to drop that bomb carrier. Not able to connect with those P2000 frags, but still looking for somebody on the back side of the train site. That's going to be still trying to make it happen. Unfortunately, not play. able to. Let's take a Logitech uh, instant replay and of that back to back headshot from Fallen here. And Check this well, out, they boys. Definitely have a chance so here nasty starting Fallen. Very powerful. Just pushing up middle, saying, train. Train your head and cough, boys. So on the eco round here is LG, and you see how patient 3 Sup is playing, but Fallen pushed up. He gets oh, 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 oh. Absolutely nasty. It's just a shame that they weren't able to capitalize on that early two man advantage as the round ran on, but. Here we go again. We're going to see 3-sub uh, going very aggressive outside. It's the same kind of bait-and-switch strat that they've been using in the past to try to draw that rotation back to the outside or hold them outside. And Arya again going to find Fur up in heaven. This guy's an animal right now. Yeah, when he, he suddenly just turns up with the AWP, it's kind of just like a up and down with him with that AWP as 3-sub, as you pointed out. They fake outside. Now it's time to hit up inner steel. The man playing the bombsite. He goes down to Kiko. Next up. He's going to be cold, but he's going to wait for his teammates to arrive. And we see so many situations like this just based upon the way 3-sup uh, is taking outer. They, they never really get a chance to push up in the back halls. Yeah, and again, I mean, I think they're starting to catch on to that strategy as well. Azaria going out mid, very brazen with that AWP, trying to make something happen. He's looking for the flank inside, but that's not exactly where it's coming from. And cold is going to be able to find Kiko. We've got two playing in the inner upper. Cold goes for it, and the Molotov onto the bomb. That's going to pretty much seal the fate of them. Bolts is going to be able to clean up the last two, but there's no attempt that they can even remotely make. They only had one kid on Fallen. He was already in the outside train yard trying to hang on to his AWP, which he will do. But that Molotov, I mean, perfect timing on that as well. Even if they did have the kit moved up into the site, they weren't going to be able to get the defuse anyway. Yeah, unless they had a smoke that was... Definitely the checkmate, Molly. And but 9 to 3, who could have predicted this score? I mean, if we're going by chain logic, I mean, LG taking out CLG 16 to 1, and now suddenly another American team, or 3's up, or I should say North American, but I guess we classify LG as North American now as well. So 3's up, working a bit of a split as they're working their members out towards Ivy. They got Davey watching any pushes towards ladder. 3's up, taking this round very cautiously and patiently. Hoping that one of the LG members are going to push. And a pretty big force buy coming out.
from LG. As we see Steel and Cold and now Fallen, Nadeless. It's three up, still yet to make their move here. As they have allowed LG to push way up towards middle, getting super aggressive on top of the front train. And now three up, they're not going to even show much presence towards Ivy. They're going to fall back. Abe gets the opening kill onto Fur out middle. And now this looks like three's up. This may be an inner fake, or maybe an outside fake to inner, though. I'm not really sure. It might be an inside fake to outer. Yeah, it, it, either one at this point. It could be outer fake to outer. It could be an inner fake to it, inner. It, but Arya, he doesn't even give a damn. He's just going to push on out. He's going to be able to pick up two Arya. more kills, saves his teammate as well. And now it's going to be Bolts to try to hold on to the outside train yard by himself. He's going to be able to find Jason R, but he's kind of stuck behind this wall here in hell. And now he's got to make something happen. Going to be able to find a second one, but Arya is a man on a mission. He's got three so far this round, and it's all on Steel, who's up in the White Halls. Not really going to be able to make too much of a play on this, but this is a tremendous, tremendous half so far from Threesop. They're they're playing on a whole other level than I saw at the beginning of this uh, at the beginning of this tournament. I mean, they are absolutely astonishing right now, and I'm I'm loving everything about the way that they're playing. I mean, they're playing Team CS. They're playing out of their minds right now, and I love it. Ten to three. T side. I mean, the, the that's scores are huge. The scores are generally so switched in this situation. I mean, you usually see the CT side with this uh, big of a lead. Uh, and L the thing is, is their their strats aren't elaborate. They're basically doing the same two or three strats over and over again. Like this is going to be that same three go inside with the bomb and two go outside. Well, they slowed it down this time, but they're going to set up for the pushes, which is exactly what's going to happen. I'm surprised they're not turning around. Bolts is down at Ivy, but they haven't really done anything out of the ordinary. Nothing crazy. And they're just winning all of the aim duels. And Arya at 14 and 7. Abe at 13 and 9. The land sloth, as he likes to be called. Oh God. And they're just dominating this outside. But look at this. Look at this inside push. Fallen's already down into the ladder room. And you've got Steel on the big flank with the P90. He might be able to catch some players out as he comes on around. Arya, are you going to turn around? Do you hear him? He is running now. He's going to be to the left side. There's one there. He's going to spray and pray. They don't realize there's a guy right behind him. Oh, oh Davey. Gonna be able to find one more there, and now we're gonna be down to a 2v2 post plant. Cold's gonna be able to find one. Kiku straight, and now it's gonna be able to take down one. He's very low, but now he's just gotta play the time game. Drops a flashbang out around the corner. He's gonna pull him off, and Cold is gonna be able to find the kill. Picks up a kid, and will get the defuse. So finally, a fourth round on the board for the Brazilians. Yeah, unfortunately for Cold, there was a kit there. Otherwise, it might have been a little close. But now it still 10 rounds on the T side. Threes up. I mean, in, they, they should win this map, but we are talking about LG here. I never expected a scoreline like this to develop. And still, you see how wounded LG's economy is still after winning a round. And they're still rocking a P90 here from Steel. Two Famuses, and you know 3's up's going to be able to buy. Let's check the strat now. It is going to be the same inner fake, it seems. No, it is going to be a commitment to outside this time. And it's so good for 3's up because they throw these smokes all the time. And then... Finally, they're going to come outer with it instead of faking back towards inner now. But it looks like LG may have it figured out. But Abe is going to burn fur. They're still making their way into the bomb site. Davey finishes off bold as well. He oh, pushed man. the smoke. I didn't even catch that. He lurks right through it. But Kiko, this guy. I mean, everybody is just firing on all cylinders for threes up here. And if Arya, or if Arya can continue that op presence throughout all the maps, then I mean, LG is going to be in trouble because that's what their uh, Brazilian counterparts were struggling with. Bomb gets planted. Nice shot from Fallen. He's going to be looking for some more here. 6 HP. Oh, almost hits the spam there on the Kiku. Oh, whoa. Nice shot from Kiko. So it's going to be 11 to 4 half for threes up on the T side. That is absolutely insane. So, I mean, what does LG have to do to bring this back? Win pistol round. Win the first gun round. Keep the threes up on Eco just forever. Well, they're going to have to. They're going to have to keep that economy low. If they if they can't manage that money game here against 3-sup on their terrorist side, then they've got no hopes of winning this, and they should might as, they might as well start talking about overpass because right now 3-sup playing absolutely astonishing counter-strike here on, on train to start things off. And, I mean, I, what can you say about them? They're, they're playing fantastic right now. They look like a completely different team than what we saw earlier on in the tournament. Oh, for sure. Just riding that momentum after taking out Games Academy. Want to eliminate both the Brazilian teams here. LG trying to take into inner. It's Kiko who gets the first frag. There's so many players from the CTs here. They have a brilliant read on the situation, but LG still trying to fight their way through. So many CTs still 
as the rotators come in. And Arya goes down, but the trades are there for the CTs. Just fallen left. 3 HP probably isn't even going to get the bomb down. Has to hit instant headshots out of these last two players. Oh, gets a goosh through the smoke onto Jason R. Bringing him down to similar HP as himself. But how does he get the bomb down in this situation? He's trying to create one versus ones. He's doing a decent job at it. He's, he has brought Jason down, but Jason is going to get the kill. And they win both pistol rounds. This is insane. So far, so good for 3SUP. If they're able to execute these anti-ecos, they're going to be looking at a 14-4 to 4 score line, which is absolutely massive. I can't believe it. So we're going to have to see whether or not they can do just that. They're going to have to fight off this Tech-9 armor buy here from the, seat, or from the terrorist side of Luminosity. And, uh, I mean, still, it's going to be a tall order for them. There's a lot of firepower here on the Brazilian side, and you can't really ever count them out. But this is a huge, huge showing so far for three sub and I think this is really the first time that they played on land together. Davey with the scout going to be able to find a little bit of damage. They are going to be able to take down Arya in the inside train yard and get that bomb plan which is exactly what they want to do in this round. Well maybe not. Davey's going to be able to take down one. Davey's going to be able to take down two. Oh, He's got fur behind the tanker train. He's going to be trying to push up here with the scout. I'm just going to follow in his POV to see if he can continue to take these players down. Fur if he strafe out just a little bit too far. Ooh baby. Going to be looking for one to the face. Fur, though, is going to be able to find one. Davey trying to fire at his own teammate here for a second. Fur going to work his way all the way around, jumps up on top. Still looking for that through the dead body of a of Davey's comrade, and they are on a two versus three. Now falling all the way through CT spawn. He's going to be on the big flank, and this could pay dividends for him in the long run. He's going to be able to chip Jason R down, takes him out. Looking for Davey as well. Not going to be able to get him, but Bolts is there. And the eco, eco round victory coming out for the Luminosity side as they put a fifth round on the board. Yeah, we saw... LG takes straight into lower. There was a brilliant pop flash onto Arya, and it really limited what he could do. Davey, though, showed up with the scout, and they were trying to close the distance and push up into the back halls for, uh, to, to get those Tech Nines working, but Davey just shut that down, did a ton of damage, but in the end, the Brazilians did take that force by Tech Nines. So I just dubbed it the second pistol round. This gun is just insane. So here we go, LG taking up outside. Not a big investment coming out from threes up. Doesn't look like they're going to be getting any frags, though, as LG with a nice clean take into outer. A flank comes through, but is it going to do anything? Okay, he does get an AK, but I don't think he's going to be able to save it. Oh, he's got a smoke. He might be able to get out of there. Uh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, uh, mm, yeah. But already, Cold, it looks like Cold wants to flank him. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just already pinching him in here and they have pretty much left the bomb site i got fur how you doing fur hello nice to meet you hope you're having a nice day i mean not right now i suppose they are coming back it's a long road a long road we're we talking about full... luminosity here i know and they're an incredible team and i want to see them you know keep this match up close but with the way the three sub played that first half, they deserve the win on, on train. I, I'm sorry to say it, but they, they won the map with that terrorist side. They won me over with that terrorist side. And, um, you know, I'm not going to sell Luminosity short. I think that they're a great team and that they could probably come back from this uh, if the discipline is right. But, again, they're on the terrorist side. They're on the more difficult side, and they're going to have to do work right here. Yeah, chances are three sub should be able to close this out, but this is Luminosity. Abe and Jason are trying to get some economic damage done. So there's no way they're going to win this round. So seven rounds now claimed by the Brazilians. Five alive, too. Yeah, that is big for the economy. And now we see three ups by. I believe we're going to see Arya with that AWP. Is oh, you bet your ass you will. Oh, yeah. David's going to hand that over to him and Fallen as well. So let's see if these AWPs meet. And what is LG going to do on their first gun round? Just we'll peep the setup here. It is going to be a quick outside. Let's check out Arya. Needs to step it up for three sub here. This is his first shot as they try to cross out middle. He's going to be able to call a lot of numbers here. Going to miss the second one. And Fur is actually going to get all the way up on top of the bomb train. He's going to be able to spot out a couple of players. The Molotovs come out. Cold's going to be able to find Davey in the backside of the bomb site. Abe finally able to chime in with one of their own onto Fallen and push it through the smoke. Oh. Arya! He misses his shot, but Bolts doesn't realize that he's right next to him. Arya not going to hit the shot on Fur. He goes down and it's just up to the land sloth. See what he can do now. Abe in a 1v3. Not going to get anything. His cold shuts him down. And the first full gun round going the way of Luminosity. And they are closing that gap right now. Arya, that shot was so important. He could have bayoneted him at that point. Just so close to him, but indeed does whiff the quick scope. And now, again, closing that gap in terms of the round count. And 3-sup 
I do have a deagle here, but I don't know what else they're really going to be able to do. There's LG heading towards inner with uh, pretty much everybody. They do chuck just one smoke grenade outside. Aria going to be quick on the flank, but it looks like Bolts is just going to be ready for him. I'm not sure if Bolts spotted him out or not. Just kind of peeked his head up. Bolts couldn't hit him with the, the whack-a-mole, but free bomb site here for LG. And uh, it looks like three subs content with this. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're playing a little bit of a retake there. Bolts is going to get caught below ladder room. Or, uh, going to catch Arya and Davey below ladder room and take them both out. You do have Abe playing very far back, just trying to see if they can make anything happen here on this save round. And Kiku is going to be able to find Fur, but still trades it, and it's down to Abe and Jason R. And Abe is going to get spotted. This is a rough spot for him to be in. Jason R all the way back in CD spawn, or pardon me, Z, the Z hallways, and they're not going to be able to find him over there. Uh, at the present moment. And he's going to hightail it out and hang on to a Desert Eagle. But 12 to 9. This money Ooh. is what's doing it for me for LG. Uh, like, the CTs are going to have to win a couple at this point to break that. And while we've got a moment here, why don't we take a listen in to the Luminosity comms powered by you Esports Gaming. Sim, 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 sim. Eu vou zoncado sim, que eu não sei. Ok. Well, that backfired a little, right? I mean, I don't, I don't speak Portuguese, but they are so calm while losing. That's yeah, that's the the big thing that I've noticed. The big difference between the two, uh, the two Portuguese teams that we actually had a chance to uh, listen into is the the comms for the the games academy squad. Very frantic. Very lots of calming going on. Lots of communication going on. However, every time that we've listened to Luminosity, it's just. One person says something at a time, very spaced out. You can hear everything, and no rage. That's, that's no, strange thing. no bitching, no moaning, no rage, no none of that stuff. And it's just very clean communication between them, whether it's a win or a loss. And that was definitely a loss. Is luminosity now on the back burner? It's going to be a 13 to 9 scoreline. They're going to be on another gun round, and they still have a little bit of cheddar in the bank if they want to go for another buy. If they lose this one, but. They need to string the rest of these rounds together and break the bank. If they trade this round, Reese up could drop two more and steal. Going to make a good bit at that as he takes down Davey getting aggressive on the inner ramp. And LG here still can pretty much go wherever they want. Three up answered. They're going to try to push into lower and enter and get that flank going on. As the rest of LG, besides from holding Ivy, are just about to split onto outside. The one man to hold Ivy, that's going to be Jason R. But oh man, oh. Abe gets steal the flank. And they're not even going to push through the ladder. They're going to fall back into inner, but it's a fake. They're going to go right back up to the ladder. And LG, they're just going to stay put at Ivy. Yeah, not really making a move. Fallen's going to get an opportunity here. And he capitalizes. Jason R does a tremendous amount of damage to him, but Fallen only takes his one shot and one kill. Going to be able to take him down. And now Arya... Aria with this AWP. He is in the back halls here. Oh, and on to Bolt. He's going to try to fall all the way back. And oh, almost blast his teammate as well. <laughs> Coming out middle is Fur. Dealt with by Abe. No, the opposite as Fur gives the advantage to LG for the time being. Trying to hang on to the bomb site as they're both kind of stuck here. Kiko, maybe not stuck. Is now Fur trying to work his way up from the E box. Aria is going to take to the skies here. Goes up into the heaven. His teammate does go down though. 23 HP. No time left. They got to get the bomb down immediately. They're not even going to go for it. Oh, it's oh, 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 the midair oh, on the ladder. Oh, LG still alive. Oh my god. That shot, first off, Arya just annihilating. It's so hard to shoot straight down in Counter Strike because when your recoil takes over, you can only keep going so far. It's so hard to do that. And he just one tap fur with a 5 7 and then Fallen hits him when he falls off the ladder. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Three rounds, the difference again, ladies and gentlemen. The eco round coming out from 3-sub. This is what you were talking about before. Keeping them on that poor money situation. Keeping them broke. Making them save repetitively. Oh, but Davey's going to be able to find two inside and steal a gun. 
Yeah, he's channeling his inner fall in there with a push of his own. But still at a bit of a disadvantage is 3-sub because they still have two of these players on pistols. Jason R pushes up middle though and he finishes off cold. The bomb in between the two T's is one of them is pushing lower on the other one. Kind of at T mid here. Very spread out. I don't think the CTs have info on this bomb though. And this four, fourth player, Fallen, he's going to creep into Z. This frag, oh, the timing of it. Abe gets spotted up, but Fallen, he doesn't care. Gets the frag anyways. Davey looking to reply, but how does Fallen know this? This man is just cerebral with oh, the shot, missed. though. That was so important to hit that one. And also, Jason R, he's thinking about flanking through into Z. And Davey versus Fallen here. Oh, Fallen with the shot, but Davey with it. Oh, the shot, oh, but he's a buff. And Bolts now in a one-on-two. Yeah, now it's going to be 35 seconds, 2v1, Bolts. What can he do? They still don't know that the bomb is down. They have no idea, really, that where Bolts is. He hasn't shown himself to any of the CTs. You've got one playing all the way outside. That's going to be Jason on the backside of that bomb train. And then you've got Davey all the way in her. Trying to make something happen. And you can see Bolts. He's going to go for inside. He's going to throw, throw the flash out. And that should alert that, uh, hey, he's coming on in. He's got to stick this bomb plan as well. Because there's hardly any time left. And is he going to check the right corner? Davey's going to be able to clean it up. A quad on the eco round. And Davey takes the round. Basically solo. 3-sup 14. Luminosity 10. Man, I'd be surprised if any of the guys from 3-sup, maybe not Arya, have voices left tomorrow. Because they are so hyped right now. Yeah, LG was coming back. They don't back. need voices tomorrow. The land's over tonight. Right? I mean, it, we may be going all night if uh, we see it. Nah. Somebody reset. Oh, you got you, you got money on CLG or something? No, I'm good. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go home in the middle of the game. Screw this! Duh! No, oh, I can't do that. I'm so far away. I know. Sucks to be. It does. <laughs> <laughs> so, three sub. Two more rounds, and they are going to close it out. And if they, they could just win this one, next round is going to be a force buy from LG. So, this one, if they could do it. They're likely going to take map number one, and then we will be on to Overpass, which I got to favor LG on. Mm -hmm. But hey, I would have favored LG on this map too. I would have as well, especially with the beatdown that they gave CLG. I mean, honestly, uh, Luminosity 16-1 over CLG, and now you've got 3-sup 14-10 over Luminosity, so obviously 3-sup is a better team than CLG now, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? The chain logic. I mean, Isn't that the way that it works? I mean, that's how you got to bet. It's the chain logic. Oh. Oh? Maybe. Now, uh, Kiko here, I mean, he's itching to go on this flank. He, he was doing this a bunch in the previous match that I casted with him, but the split underway from the Brazilian squad. Davey is trying to spam through the smokes here, but interesting that the Brazilians aren't going to cross into the bomb site right away. They're just waiting at lower, giving Davey enough time to spam downfall, and they're planting inside of the smoke. Three up with the advantage with the bomb down. Yeah, and that was. A little risque. You've got Kiku already on the fast flank through the White Halls, and Abe's going to be able to find Bolts coming around from behind him. Steel has absolutely no idea. He's going to truck on down. Fur's going to go down, and they just clean it up, and they're going to be on map point now, ladies and gentlemen. 15 to 10 for 3 sub. Yeah, it was a bit quiet over there for a second, but I did hear him. One round away, and oh, they're going to go for a tactical little, pause. A little late for a pause here, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I mean, they should have done that a long time ago. I suppose yeah. they were building a little bit of a comeback. Now, one round separates them from going down a map, and I firmly expected to see LG versus CLG in the finals, but hey, 3-sup, they're just playing out of their minds tonight. They're, they're bringing the heat, and they're, they're bringing it hard right now, and this is, a, this is exactly what we wanted to see is a great you know, end to the tournament. We had a couple of blowouts here and there, um, only a handful of series that actually went to three maps, and uh, which Ace versus 3-sup, uh, I believe, was one of the series that went to three maps, am I correct? Or Ace Method. That's what it was. Ace Method went three maps. Yes. Um, and then the CLG Luminosity. So we haven't really seen three maps, but we want it to be competitive. We want every single one of these matchups to be extremely competitive, and that's what we're seeing here. Three sup, a team that had 15% odds, and they're now on the verge of taking a 1-0 lead in a BO3 against one of the best teams in the world. Exactly. I mean, and that's huge. That's that's confident. That's confidence building for this team. They're going to go back and and dominate online once they get home because they're just going to be on such a high from this. Yeah, I, I guess. Uh Esport gaming, and they had the uh, they had the odds right. I mean, I, 25 percent, I guess. They, they were right. I went to gave three sub 25 percent, but not only am I a fan of the competitive matches, I just like to see me some upsets, create some interesting storylines, and three sub eliminating both Brazilian teams. That would be amazing for them. So LG ready to take into inner. It seems as they're throwing a bit of a fake outside, but Davy pushed up 
And he could do some significant damage here. Carries where the smoke goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's where he was throwing it. That was a set smoke to smoke off the inside push up towards the ladder room in Whitehalls, in case you were wondering. I'm totally kidding. He messed that up. So we're going to be seeing that push come to the outside train yard. And that one smoke could be the difference, and it is. Abe's going to be able to get a clear line of sight on two of them. He's going to be able to take him down. He's just boosted up there by CT Spawn. They're going to be able to find another one. And Abe coming on out. He's going to get a third. And that's going to leave Steel in a one versus a lot. And see if he can do anything from this situation. Abe going ham this sandwich. Uh, I almost said ham this sandwich. Ham this sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Hot Jesus dogs and hamburgers. <laughs> that's going to be at three subs, 16 to 10. Oh. Who'd have thunk it? Apparently they would because they're over there screaming and yelling and carrying on, boys and girls. So give us a couple of minutes. I need to reset my scrambled eggs up in my brain for a little bit. And uh, we'll be bringing you the next matchup. Overpass is going to be the next one. And make sure that you're checking out the giveaways on Twitter because right now we're giving away a M9 Bayonet Tiger Tooth. I don't think it's actually on that splash screen right now. But it's a Tiger Tooth M9 bayonet that we're giving away. And we're also giving away that Logitech gear, which is uh, in that upper left-hand side of that splash screen. So make sure that you guys are following and retweeting Went Out Net. We'll be back in just a little bit, guys, with match number two or map number two overpass. <laughs> 